Experts insisted that Prince Andrew, even his ex-wife Duchess of York, would spend Christmas this year with the Queen at Sandringham amid fears Her Majesty would be alone for the holiday. The monarch is scheduled to leave for Sandringham on Wednesday, despite the fact that she skipped her normal church service at Windsor yesterday as a precaution because to the growing threat of the COVID 2019's new variant. Despite reports that the 95 year old monarch may cancel plans to host family gatherings at her Norfolk estate, royal correspondent Katie Nicholl told True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat that she will not be spending the holiday alone. Because he is always by the Queen's side, Prince Andrew is one of the names being floated to join Her Majesty for Christmas Day. She went on to say that since Philip died in April at the age of 99, it's probable that Sarah Ferguson, who had a tense relationship with the Duke, will join her former husband Prince Andrew for the festivities. I simply cannot imagine the family will allow the Queen to be alone for Christmas without Philip. I don't think that will happen, Katie told True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat. Andrew, 61 will certainly be there. He is constantly at the Queen's side, according to royal author Ingrid Seward. Before Katie suggested that a maybe now Philip isn't there, Fergie will be too. The Queen skipped her normal church service at Windsor yesterday as part of the precautions in place to safeguard Sandringham's traditional Christmas celebrations, which have been held there since 1988. This will be the Queen's first Christmas since the death of her 73-year-old husband, Philip, earlier this year and family members are reportedly preparing to rally around her so she does not have to spend it alone. The Queen is nonetheless eager to visit Sandringham, her beloved 20,000-acre estate where she usually spends until early February. Sarah, Andrew's ex-wife, still lives with the Duke of York at the Royal Lodge in Windsor, and while he has a good relationship with his mother, Fergie, Andrew's ex-wife has been excluded from royal celebrations for many years after their divorce. While Philip was fond of their daughters, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, he is said to have thought of the Duchess of York as beyond the pale. According to Giles Brandreth, the late Duke decided, enough was enough, when images of Sarah topless and having her toes licked by a lover in the south of France appeared in a daily newspaper. Katie then went on to discuss Her Majesty's relationship with her son Andrew, who is being questioned about his tumultuous ties with Jeffrey Epstein who died in prison in 2019 while awaiting trial on sex trafficking allegations. Virginia Jufre, now 38, is suing him in New York, alleging that he sexually abused her three times when she was 17 in London, New York, and on Epstein's Caribbean island. Andrew, who is not facing any criminal charges, vehemently refutes Ms. Jufre's allegations. From what I've heard, she's had fairly open and honest chats with Andrew, she said. He has told her that he is not guilty, and she has placed her trust in him. I think the situation she's in is truly twofold, there's a dichotomy. She is the monarch, and as such, she has had to make decisions. Difficult decisions in depriving her son of his duties and patronages, thus removing him from royal life and placing him into early retirement must have been difficult, considering their closeness. But, of course, she also plays the role of mother as evidenced by her presence near Andrew.